Okay, so I'm here in paint.net to, to just kind of explain some stuff because I basically had to redo the whole dang thing. And I'm going to tell you why. So this is a map, um, just before I get started, I guess this is a map that Rick Burns made in 2008. It's on nesmaps.com. I've been using this the whole time. I've been cheating. I'm a filthy cheater. But anyways, so this is where we were, I think, two episodes ago. You kneel with the red crystal right here and it transports you to castle four which we did yesterday which i have i also edited this map a little bit so that it's um more in line or whatever that was right here that's this is the mansion we did so this is where i am and the problem was that I didn't have the good whip that was in the ca the town right before, right to the right of the red crystal part. And just look at all that area. <laughs> um, yeah, because let's see. There's a morning star in this house right here. So I basically redid the whole dang thing just to get that, and I'm going to explain a bit more about the trip, because I got more stuff too, like I have more usable items. So basically, I started out the game, you start here, instead of getting the white crystal from this guy first, I went into, I think it's, yeah, it, it's this house, and bought holy water, um... And then I went over to the right, and uh, I did not exactly do this in the most optimal way, now that I think about it, because, you know, I did Castle Berkeley, but then I made the mistake of going still to the right. Also, um, one thing about Castle Berkeley, the white crystal, all it does is make this appear, but they're still, they're still there, so I basically just stood on the edge and jumped until I was on the platform anyways. I didn't need the white crystal, but at the same time, I, I, made, I made the mistake of still going to the right, even though you can't even get into the second castle, right? Yeah, right here. You can't even get there without the blue crystal, you need the white crystal to get the blue crystal, so I'd say optimal path, probably do castle one, and then you'll probably have enough hearts at that point, or you could even just grind within castle one until you have 50 hearts again, and then you go back and get the white crystal, or just go back and get the, the holy water, because uh, you kind of need that to get the sacred flame. Sacred flame is right here. I'll zoom in on this a little bit. Uh, yes, that does work. I'm sure everybody remembers this fine area. Um, this is between castles one and two. And you holy water these blocks right here, and the sacred flame is in these blocks. And sacred flame, I know I was complaining the other day about how uh, holy water was nerfed in this game. Sacred flame is the new holy water, and boy is it good. I ground through death in, uh, this is castle three, right? I ground through death. Like, ate him away. Uh, using Sacred Flame and some whips. It didn't even cost all that much. So, I also have the Golden Knife from Beating Death. That's also a good one. It's It costs magic, but it's a good uh, it's a good weapon. And let's see what else I did. Uh, I didn't get the Silver Knife because I didn't have garlic, but I will mention something else involving garlic in a little bit. So, back over to the left here, after I went all the way over here. I also... Did, I think I bought garlic and laurels in this town, just because laurels are going to be important in this episode. Uh, I didn't skip any whip. And, let's see. This is the part where... Yeah, right. Right here. Going on to Castle 3. I did go all the way over here to get the diamond from this guy. I don't think I'm going to use the diamond, and it's honestly not the greatest thing in the world. The items don't really do all that much damage, and I don't drop the diamond even stuns. And it's, 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 it takes a wacky arc. I might use it just for the sake of showing you what it does, but i um, probably not going to put that to much use. Anyways, afterwards, went over basically the same as usual, except I did in fact buy the Morning Star in this house right here, and made it, of course to Bodley Mansion, 
Uh, Y'all saw that in the less optimal version on last episode. Yeah, because I titled it Getting Blood Lead. Um, and now, I think I did that in at least a similar time frame to how I got there in the first place. We might be on track for beating the game within seven cycles, but... We're gonna we're gonna see about that. I don't entirely know, but we'll find out. For now, welcome to episode. I don't I don't even know which one. I haven't been really numbering these, but it's gonna be episode Mansion Five. We're going through Mansion Five this time, and hopefully y'all have a great time. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> let's start on that. Okay, we're back, and it's also nighttime. As you can see, it's it's day five and. A lot so I part of me really thinks I might not make it but we will see about that for one I gotta get this crystal out very important so that I don't die but yeah see look at this thing oh and it like teeters off to the side too I also don't know where exactly on these okay oh okay I was hoping I didn't just completely waste time there by kneeling at the wrong angle or whatever because these blocks are kind of finicky, a little bit. Um, hold on. Oh my gosh. I thought I was going to die there for a second. Also, isn't it cool that, uh... Okay, I think I do have to... Yeah. Alright, alright. Here we go, guys. We're getting we're getting the most epic whip now. Yeah! So, yeah. We're good. We're good now. Um, the rest of the game should be easy because I just doubled my power and everything else is stupid and dumb. So today we are going to... Yeah, look at that. Two shots, fellas. Two shots. Um, we're going to Castle 5 today, which is Castle... I don't actually know what the name of the castle is. I'm gonna want these hearts though because the best way to beat castle, oh my gosh, um, castle whichever is, it involves the use of a little bit of magic. A little bit, a little bit of magic. Not too much magic, but a little bit. Try me pal. Hey, you're telling me the shield doesn't work on these guys? Come on. I'm literally using a fire whip and my shield doesn't work on the fireman. Whatever. Alright, <laughs> I want to get ahead of these skull things so that I don't die. Wow, I think that hit behind me. That's pretty funny. Yeah, I would much rather these things be dead as soon as possible so that they don't have the opportunity to hurt me. Oh, yeah, right, okay. Here's why we want the laurels. Because this, this stuff's gonna hurt me a lot, right? And I want to not be damaged by this. So, I have two laurels, right? And I'm glad I have three now, because <laughs> I almost didn't have enough to get through that relatively unscathed. And hey, it's morning now. This is the sixth day. Okay, I, I, think, I think we are on track, actually, to beat this in... Um, less than eight days, which means that it's technically... Hold on, let me save the game real quick. Technically, the best ending is, um... Is, uh... Under eight days. It's like between one and seven days, but that counts like seven full days. Which is weird. I don't, I don't remember if the game starts on one or zero. If it starts on one, then that makes sense. Also, I don't remember how the how the layout of the castle is. Okay, yeah, <laughs> I should probably let me let me let me just get back to y'all. Okay. 
Okay, actually, this, this castle is relatively linear, which is new. You know, that's a new thing. They really love putting these guys at the at the tops and bottoms of, of uh, staircases. Sheesh. Also, I don't know what life I'm on. Actually, okay, hold on. <clears throat> okay, I'm on life three. Also, or that's level three. That's level three. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. I really should have paid attention to that freaking that little line there when I was doing stuff and things because. Um, it would have been nice to know where I was, where I sat, in terms of how these things go, you know. But yeah, I'm, I'm honestly a bit surprised that this mansion doesn't have as many, like, invisible blocks that you have to know the location of to progress, kind of thing, you know. Try me, pal. You don't even have space to throw bones, boyo. All right. And I am, I am trying to go fast, just because I've been, I, w I took the freaking liberty of making a five minute intro, just to explain how I got here and how I got the stuff that I have. A bit unnecessary, I guess, but you know, it's fine. Um, <laughs> I'm hoping that'll be appreciated by my loving audience. I'm also, I'm a bit surprised how well this is being received. Um, but, you know, I, uh, I am honestly quite appreciative of the fact that it is being received. Um, you know, not the greatest commentator on Earth, but I guess it makes sense that the actual, like, good gameplay is, uh, this is not going to go well. I wonder how I can do this. Okay, okay, that worked out. I really love that he can just throw things through ceilings. Okay. Okay, we're good. Sort of. We're not good. We're no longer good. We're no longer good. We are alright. Okay. We're saving the game. <laughs> Another good thing. Alright. I was thinking for a little bit about how it might be alright to die in this game. Just because I don't really care that much about the levels or experience right now. But, um, that's not true. Because I still, I'm still going to need magic to use some of the weapons. So I actually... God. Look at me. <laughs> I, I do want to keep as many hearts as I can. So getting a game over at this point is not optimal. God, this kind of sucks, doesn't it? I still want to save the magic, that's why. Like, um... There we go. Ugh. Sheesh. We're gonna go the other way the next time, but um, for now, hold the phone. I wanna hold this. I have a hundred hearts. That means a hundred possible hits. Check that out, huh? It's Carmela. It's everybody's favorite Castlevania character. Wow! <laughs> That eight, dude. Yeah, this is why we. This is why we pick up stuff. Okay, there we go. Very gamer. What do I get this time? Huh? I possess Dracula's ring, and now. Okay, I. I'm not gonna lie. I. I don't know why I wasn't expecting this to go as as quickly as it did. It feels like it was a pretty quick little bout, you know. So, I'm gonna try not to get hit by Carmela on the way back. Um, and I guess we'll just end it off once I exit the castle. Because I don't really have any reason to be here anymore. Ow. Ow. Okay. Actually, what am I... What life am I on? Crap. Okay, well. Just because this fight was so interesting, let's do it again. Hey, Carmela, how you doing? If I stay at the edge of the room, then she can't even hit me. So, you know what? Isn't that cool? So, actually, there's also apparently, um, like a little piece of knowledge, um, 
when you hold on let me yeah okay you just don't want to throw the steak on accident when if you if I were to actually talk to people which I'm not going to do because the uh, the translations are a little off there's a little piece of knowledge somewhere about uh, the golden dagger being the best weapon against the floating head or whatever so that's cool isn't that nice you actually get like good stuff in this game also an another funny thing everybody everybody says that the NP NPCs lie in this game and that's basically true but the funny thing is is that I don't oh, okay I did it again oh my gosh okay I kind of did it again let's not die this time I think this should work um the funny thing is is that they, it's not even that they lie so much as they like are poorly translated um what the heck is this guy oh yeah okay I didn't need to come here but that guy has laurels I only have four laurels okay that was kinda maybe not worth it yeah maybe not alright if it was really all that much not worth it then I'll just reload the game and I'll make it out of here regardless but you know I think that was pretty much worth it. That was kind of worth, honestly. Alright, here we go. The fun part of the game where I have to fight spiders and stuff. Ah, sucker. Okay. No, no, I'm the sucker! Okay. We made it, fellas. We're basically out of the, out of the woods now. I know that these are not woods, but, you know... It's a figure of speech, all right? I know that everybody was arguing with me in the comments about the, uh, this location being a castle and not an uh, outcropping of woods, wooded areas. Um, I know that this was a point of contention, but no, it's, it is a castle, I do understand. I maybe should have just loaded the game there instead of saving. This might come back to bite me, just because I only have two health. I want to say the levels help me in the health department. What am I at in terms of experience? Okay. I might be due for another level. I may be due for another level. And, I mean, what? there is no better place than um, inside a castle to get levels. So I, I think I will grind it out here a little bit. I've got the time for it. And, you know, these guys are really easy to kill. So, that, uh, that sounds like a pretty good idea to me. This is what I do in between episodes. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm, I'm gonna catch y'all back when I'm at a higher level. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I almost, I almost missed that. Alright, and this is especially good... Because I don't think there's a a um, I don't think there's a church in the town between here and the final castle. It is the final castle, by the way. We're we're going straight to Castlevania next time, and that'll that that will be a next time thing. It's not gonna be now. I might actually start in um I might start right on top of Castle Four, just because that would be. I don't know, like, y'all saw me get here, it wasn't the most interesting trek, so, you know, I may as well start right on top of Castle Fort, and I may as well kill this guy, die, you know, uh, so, yeah, that'll be next time, <laughs> till then, like, comment, and subscribe, or I'm gonna whip you <laughs> with a flaming morning star, goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.